I'm gonna start this recipe off by placing mozzarella sticks inside of these manicotti shells. Now layer two, we are gonna take ground beef already cooked and we are gonna actually put it inside of the manicotti. Get them in there as good as you can and goes through the one side. And once you have that entire layer done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in with some provolone cheese, some mozzarella cheese, some provolone cheese, some mozzarella cheese, and some provolone cheese. And now we're actually gonna come in with some pasta sauce of your choice. And we're gonna just kinda, kinda dump it on this layer like this. Come in with some pepper, salt, fresh oregano. We're gonna sprinkle that on to taste. Fresh garlic right here. And we're just gonna go ahead and kinda, well, that kinda <laughs> got away from me, but you get the point. We're now gonna come in with another layer of the cheese stuffed manicotis. So there's one, there's another one. There's two more manicotis. So we're just kind of layering this up, like kind of like a lasagna. I don't know if you want to call this a manicotti lasagna, but it's kind of what it is, a manicotti lasagna. So now that we have this layer down, what we're going to do is we're going to take the remainder of this ground beef that we have, and we're going to kind of just sprinkle it over this layer of the manicotis. Um, nice and even. This is going to give you a great flavor and great, great meaty taste is what everybody loves. I know I do. We're going to come in with, again with the salt. Some pepper. You guess it, fresh oregano. Some more of that fresh garlic. There we go. We're now gonna go ahead and dump the rest of this pasta sauce all over here, just completely covering this up like that. We also have one and a half cups of water. This is gonna actually help with the cooking process of the manicotis. So we wanna go ahead and dump that into. And this is gonna cook on high for three hours. We're lastly gonna cover this up with a mozzarella provolone combination. So that's what we're doing right here. This is gonna give you an amazing crust, nice crunch, which most people like when they eat their manicotti pasta lasagna. So we'll see you when it's done. Okay, it's been four, been four hours on high. Now we're gonna go ahead and get some of the meat, some of the cheese, some of the manicotes. And, oh, that is what I call lasagna from heaven. Look at that, guys, gals. And then of course, we gotta put some fresh Parmesan cheese on there. Let's try to get some of the meat and some of the cheese. The Parmesan cheese, the, look at the cheese stretch on that from the, from the cheese sticks. But this is a super easy recipe you can make and it's gonna feed at least 10 people. Oh my God. Mm, 10 out of 10.